Hello, boys and girls. This is Miss Williams. Um, okay, so this is topic 10, math review video two. Um, so I'm going to do a few problems, some, a few um, word problems first, two, and then I'm going to do a different type of problem at the end. Um, so first off, let's look at our word problem. First of all, you should do is you should read it. Remember, on your online test, that it has a button where you can click it, where it'll read it to you. So please do that. Um, and it, you can do it as many times you want. You can have it read to you. Uh, all right, so Ryan works at a farm stand. He sells 157 eggs. Now he has 346 eggs. How many eggs did Ryan have before he sold some? So he sold 157. And then now he has 346, but we want to know how many did he have before? So in this case, we're kind of working backwards. So this is how many he had left and this is how many he sold. So if we add those together, we're going to get a larger number, which is the, the number that he had before he started to sell them. All right. So, um, so what we need to do, is we are going to add 346 plus 157. Now remember, it doesn't matter which order you put it in addition. I could have put 156, 57, excuse me, plus 346 first. It doesn't matter on addition, remember, in the community property. Um, all right, so I'm gonna do um, two strategies. Um, I'm going to do the number line, and also I'm gonna do partial sums. So first, I'm gonna go ahead and do the number line. So I'm gonna start my number line over here. And I'm gonna start always with a number line. We always start with our largest number. And so now I know I have to add 157 to that. Make this a little bit lower. Um, so, okay, so I have, 100, I'm going to put it in expanded form, 5 tenths, which would be 50, and 7 ones to add. I'm breaking it apart so it'll be easier. And that's what our number line does. It breaks that larger number, that large number apart so we can add it easily. All right, so first I'm going to add my 100, and I'm going to do a hop of 100. And when I do a hop of 100, I have three hundreds. And now I'm going to have 446. I just have to add 100 to my 300. Okay. Then I'm going to add 50. Well, I could go ahead and add 50. It doesn't go over the 10. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, boys and girls, you could break that 50. You could break it into 10s. You could break it into 20 and 30. You do whatever works best for you when number line. Now they're gonna give you a number line on your test, so it'll be a little bit different. They kind of break it up for you, all right? So I would put plus 50. So if I add five tens to four tens, that would be five plus four is nine, so that would be nine tens. So we're gonna have 400, 96. Notice what changed is my tens place because I added five tens to four tens. All right. Now, um, now I need to add seven. Hmm. Well, if I add seven to that, that might be kind of difficult. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break that seven apart. I'm going to add enough to give me a 10. So I'm going to add because I know that six plus four is 10. So I'm going to break that seven. I'm going to break that seven apart to four and then three because four plus three is seven. So if I had four to 496, well, 96 plus four is going to be 100. So my number is going to be 500. Then I still have three left. Don't forget about that three, that part of that seven that we haven't added yet. And then I'm going to add three. So my answer is going to be 503. That's one way that you could do it. Um, another way is you could do with your partial sums. So with your partial sums, we're gonna do the same problem, 346 
plus 157. Now remember, that's just breaking it apart in your hundreds, your tens, and your ones. So I'm going to rewrite that problem. So I'm going to add, and I know a lot of you may look at it that way, we're gonna add our hundreds. 300 plus 100 would be 400. Four, four tens, because I'm going to add my tens now, four tens plus five tens would be nine tens, which would be 90. And then I'm going to add my one, six plus seven. That's a doubles plus one. So that's going to be 13. Now, if I add that together, I'm going to put it down here a little bit, guys. I'm a little bit low. So I'm going to have my ones, zero, zero, and three would be three. Then I have nine plus one, nine tens plus one ten would be ten tens. Well, ten tens is a hundred. So I'm gonna bring that hundred over to my hundreds place. So I have no tens. I'm gonna bring all those tens over. So now I have four plus one would be five tens. So I'm gonna get the same answer that I did. I'm gonna get the same answer that I did with my number line. 503. Excellent. All right. So now on our next problem solving. Now on this one, I'm going to just do it one way on this one. Um, so on this problem, Brittany, Brittany has 228 marbles. Jackson has 53 more marbles than more marbles than Brittany. How many marbles do they have in all? Okay, so when you're looking at this, we have to think about, first of all, who has more marbles, Brittany or Jackson? Well, Jackson does because it says Jackson has 53 more marbles than Brittany. So he doesn't have just 53, he has 53 more than her. So this is a two-step problem. So our first step is we need to find out how many marbles Jackson has. So we need to add 53 to 228. So I have 228 plus 53. Okay, now I'm gonna use, um, I'm gonna use the partial sum with this one. So I'm gonna add my hundreds, so I only have two hundreds. I'm going to add my tens. I have two tens plus five tens, which will be seven tens, which will be 70. And then eight ones and three ones would be 11 ones. So if I add those all together, if I add those all together, I'm going to have one one, seven plus one, don't forget to add that one, is eight, and then two hundreds. So so right now we know that Jackson has 281 marbles and Brittany has 228. They want to know though, here's the question, how many marbles do they have in all? So now what we need to do is we need to add 228 plus 281. So once again, I'm going to do the partial sums, okay? So I'm gonna add my hundreds. 200 plus 200 is 400. 800, eight tens plus two tens is 10 tens. Well, 10 tens is 100. And then eight ones plus one one is nine ones. So if I add those together, I have nine ones, zero tens, and five hundreds. So, so Brittany and Jackson have 509 marbles in all. Okay, so that was a two-step problem. Be careful on those. Make sure that your answer makes sense. All right, so we're going to do one more, one last problem. Now, this type of problem This type of problem is one where you're gonna to have to do more than one problem on here, okay? You're gonna to have to do a little bit more work. Um, it says, which is the same amount as 639 plus 143? 
choose all that apply. Remember that means that there is going to be more than one answer. So if you just choose one, I promise you, you're going to get it incorrect. So please make sure that you always look at the ones that are choose all that apply. All right. So first off, in order to work this problem, here's what you should do, boys and girls. First thing you should do is you need to work these two problems. You need to find out the sum. You need to work this problem to find out the sum. So um, I am first. We're going to put that over here. 639 plus 143. So what we're going to do is we're going to work that problem with the partial sum. All right. So we've got 600 plus 100 would be 700. Three tens plus four tens would be 70 tens. And nine ones plus three ones would be 12 ones. So I'm going to add it up. So we have two ones through the, the ones column. Go in our tens column. Seven plus one would be eight tens and seven hundreds. So here is our number that we're looking for. 780. Two. Okay, so now what we have to do is we have to go and look at each one of those and see if it's the same, if it will give us 782, just like this one. All right, so if we look at this, we say 600 plus 180. I know some of you can do that in your head. You can look at that and add your hundreds and your 10. But 600 plus 180. If we look at that, we can do that with the partial sum again. Or some of you might be able, once you do the partial sum a lot, actually you might be able to do some of these with the algorithm. So for example, zero plus zero is zero. Zero plus eight, or we're doing our tens, is eight tens. And 600 plus 100 is 700. So it's 780. So, oh, and then we're not finished. Excuse me. I've got to make sure I add my two. So 780 plus two will be 782. So that would actually be one of the answers. So I would check that one. Of course, however you're gonna do it, you're gonna check it on your, when you're doing it online. All right, so that is one correct answer. All right, let's do another one. Let's try the other ones. We ha you have to look at all your answer choices, boys and girls. All right, so we have 700 plus 80 plus two. Now this looks like an expanded form, doesn't it? So if I add that together, that's going to be 782. Hmm, 782. So that's an answer. And then we have another one. We have 700 plus 70 plus 12. So let's first look at, let's add these two and then add our 12. So 700 plus 70, plus 70, we can look at our ones, our tens, and our hundreds. We have 770, but then we have to add our 12. Okay, so we have two ones, eight tens, and seven hundreds. Once again, that is 782. So we have that one is an answer also. So we've got one last one to do. So we have 600 plus 80 plus 62. Hmm. So we need to check this one. So first of all, 600 plus 80 is going to be 680 because we're just adding the 80, eight tens to this. Now I've got to add my 62. So we're actually doing... Um, we're actually going to be doing this one on partial sums because this is a regrouping one. Okay. So we can do six hundreds. Look at our tens. We have eight tens and six tens. Eight plus six is 14. So that's going to be, I've got to leave a little space there, is 140. And then we have two plus zero ones will be two ones. So let's see what we get. So we have two ones. We have four tens and seven hundreds. So that is not an answer. So we don't check that one. 
All right, so boys and girls, you need to make sure that you're really careful on your work. Do your best, show it. Work out these problems, okay? All right, we'll see you later. Bye.